Well, the department stores may be gone, but downtown Pittsburgh has plenty of exciting places to shop for the holidays. From the People's Gas Holiday Market to holiday pop-up locations, there is something for everybody. We welcome back Jeremy Waldrop, President and CEO of the Pittsburgh Downtown Partnership, to the Sunday Business Page. And joining him is Wendy Downs, owner and founder of Moop. So what is Moop? Well, we're about to find out. Hey, welcome. It's good to have you on the show. And uh, Jeremy, let me just start with you. Uh, Light Up Night starts off, kicks off the holiday season, the Christmas shopping season in downtown Pittsburgh. How did that go? It was fantastic. 57 years in the making, and I think we've gotten it right. Uh, hundreds of thousands of people came to downtown. And you're right, kicked off the holiday season like no other city does with eight tree lightings, plenty of bands, and some great shopping. You know, and, and an opportunity to once again showcase downtown Pittsburgh as a place to shop for the holidays. And Wendy, Moop! <laughs> What's Moop? <laughs> Moop is bags. We design and manufacture bags right in downtown Pittsburgh. Right in downtown Pittsburgh. And you've got a couple with you, so well, let's I just... I do. Uh, I have one. This is this is a very small bag of, uh, that we make. We make everything out of wax canvas and cordura nylon, so they're water-resistant, durable. They're going to break in. They're, yeah, we make them all right in our and, shop. And the only place you can buy them is downtown Pittsburgh? We're, we're online based, and then our only shop is right in downtown Pittsburgh. So, we don't do wholesale, so they're all available directly from us. So if you want to feel them and touch them and see them, you've got to come downtown. That's which right. is the whole point of this, right? Yeah. That is correct, yes. Yeah. <laughs> so, you know, many of us remember the old days, and then I'm one of them. You can tell by the gray hair. I'd remember Kaufman's and Horns and Gimbel's and even Saks and all those days. Um, they're gone. But that doesn't mean there aren't a lot of places to shop, right, Jeremy? That's right. We have 150 retailers still downtown. Let's repeat that, 150. 150, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, these stores, many of them have been here for decades. Think about Larimer's, um, a family-owned store uh, in downtown Pittsburgh, uh, just doing phenomenal work. And then we have Randall's. I have three young kids. I will be at Randall's Toy Store multiple times this holiday season. Of course, of course. And then you have what's going on in Market Square. Yeah, we have the People's Gas Holiday Market. It's its sixth year. We have 35 vendors. Uh, international, of course, you can get Katie Wolfart. Uh, here you'll see um, a print that we have from Strawberry Luna, which is part of Mon Maid. Uh, Mon Maid is a program of the uh, Bridgeway Capital and their craft business accelerator that pulls together uh, businesses like Wendy's um, mm -hmm. into kind of an online platform to promote kind of the collective work that's happening here in southwestern Pennsylvania. We have some amazing manufacturers um, in this region and this is an opportunity to highlight that and we're thrilled to partner with them and have them all season long at the holiday market. I think that's a great place to go and it's just fun to wander around there. Wendy, how important is it for folks to come downtown from your perspective as a business owner? Well, part of the reason we located our business downtown was so that people could come to us. We're an online-based business, but we make a physical product and we make it right in our shop. And we've been operating in warehouses all around the city and we had enough people that wanted to come and see how we did what we do. Right, and are, are these some of the other items you do, you sell? Uh, these are these are found in the holiday market. Right. These are these Jeremy. These are Clo Rebel. Wanna... So this is um, at the holiday market part of Mon made another so you, have, you want to show one uh, Jeremy yeah right? you got uh, a, a, tote here, like another... uh, a little wine bag right uh, pillow here with the Smithfield Street Bridge right um, and then a great t-shirt these also come in various uh, yeah. designs there are right so this is t-shirts so the bottom line is these are things that you can only get in downtown Pittsburgh that's right and yeah. your items as well Wendy I mean right. the whole idea is that there's something unique about downtown Pittsburgh to shop but here's a problem Parking. You know, we love we may love to shop for Christmas in downtown Pittsburgh, but we hate to pay for parking when it's free at the malls. So you've got a solution to this. Tell we us do. about it. Well, thanks to the city of Pittsburgh and the Pittsburgh Parking Authority, you can park at any parking authority garage for absolutely free on Saturdays uh, throughout the holiday season. And then 350 Oliver, which is a new garage that actually opened up at the former Saks Fifth Avenue site, they're going to be offering free parking Monday through Friday after 5 p.m. and then all weekend Saturdays and Sundays. And that let's, starts tomorrow. Let's repeat that. So starting tomorrow, yes. it's called 350. It's a brand new parking garage in downtown Pittsburgh, yeah. privately owned. Privately owned. And they're going to offer free parking after 5 o'clock. Monday through Friday. Yes. And all weekends. All weekend, all day Saturday. So there's Sunday. no excuse. You have absolutely no excuse. You can park in downtown Pittsburgh for free at, after five. Yeah. So 
What else did you ask for? <laughs> Grab a bag, get some dinner. <laughs> well, you know, that's the other part of it. There's always fun things to go and eat and entertain yourself in downtown Pittsburgh as well, right? Yeah, we have about 30 new restaurants that have opened up in the last 14 months. So if you think you've seen it all in downtown, likely you haven't. There's some great, great new dining opportunities. And we also have four new pop-ups that have popped up in downtown just for the holiday season. Yeah, you know, I have that in my notes here because I, you know, pop-ups, we think of these, these are kind of temporary stores. We see them sometimes around Halloween to sell costumes sure. and things like that. Yeah. But Christmas pop-ups, is this becoming more of a thing? We hope so. And we hope that these businesses do so incredibly well that they want to call downtown home full-time. And that's really why we're doing this. We're activating uh, some vacant storefronts. Some of these buildings are in transition. Uh, we have Technogel, which is a uh, headquartered, their North American headquarters are right here in downtown Pittsburgh. They make uh, pillows, gel top pillows and mattresses and floor mats. Um, we have a pop-up bar that just opened up Friday. Wait a minute, a pop-up bar? Yes, it's called <laughs> Miracle on Market. Um, it's in the Oyster House, so it's kind of a bar within a bar. They opened up last year, it was Miracle on Liberty. So this year, it's holiday-themed cocktails. It's so much fun. It literally looks like Christmas exploded in the middle I of this bar. It. So it's a it. great opportunity. Yeah, thank you both enough for coming in and sharing. It sounds like there's a lot of fun things to do, and we can park for free. Let's say that again. You can park for free in downtown Pittsburgh after 5 o'clock, so take advantage of it. Get all your Christmas shopping done downtown. I'm, by the way, I'm someone who hates the malls. <laughs> I really hate fighting the malls, so I'd rather shop downtown. Both of you for coming in, and uh, Merry Christmas. Yeah, yes, Merry you. Christmas. Thank you for having us. Hey, when the Sunday business page continues, what kind of a Christmas shopping season will it be for merchants? We'll ask Duquesne University.